Tell me that does not look incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> and welcome back to another video on the channel and welcome back to another food review I hope you're not sick of seeing my face already um, yeah so today we have got some more of the twisted range from Iceland now I've got something a little bit different I know you guys really enjoyed the double cheeseburger kebabs now they are absolutely top tier now is any of the range um, any of that twisted range any good I mean judging by that product alone I got some high hopes now I picked up something decent here it is it's a Yorkshire pudding Lasagna, how sick is that? Like, I love Yorkshire puddings. I don't have them very often. Um, lasagna, I don't have that very often either, but the combination of them both really interested me. Four pounds, um, around about 600 calories, and protein-wise, 30 grams of protein. I mean, it's not on the massive side of things. It's probably like a normal size sort of item. It's a giant Yorkshire pudding filled with lasagna. Now. I just finished the gym. I'm absolutely knackered. I'm trying to dig motivation out of my arsehole. <sighs> yeah, and I just need to make a video because obviously I'm working now from Sunday to Thursday. So yeah, I, I just not not gonna have time. So I wanted to really try this range again. Now let's get to the kitchen. Let's stick it in the oven. And yeah, let's give it a cook and I'll see you the other side. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We got our lasagna Yorkshire pudding. You can see, sort of size-wise, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but I mean, for one person, if you're gonna eat it yourself, um, a you have to be hungry, and b you know what? It looks actually quite appetising. Um, I'm happy with the size of this. 600 calories as well. I mean, that seems a little bit too good to be true, but that is a pretty decent, de 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 decent portion. I'm really hungry after the gym. 180 in the oven for 45 minutes. That gives me time to have a shower and we'll be back once it's cooked. So welcome back ladies and gentlemen after 45 minutes at 180 in the oven. Here it is. It's the lasagna in a giant Yorkshire pudding from the uh, make, make or whatever, the, the, the range twisted. See you at the table, we're gonna have a taste and see what it's all about. Hello fellow foodies and welcome back. I mean, I've had a shower, but I feel great. It's all cooked, it's all here. Here we have the uh, lasagna in a uh, giant Yorkshire pud. Um, it's been in the oven, like I said, for around about uh, 45 minutes. And yeah, it's just been cooling down. But before we get into this product, I want to give you a little description as to what it's all about. Twisted lasagna filled Yorkshire pudding. Cooked Yorkshire pudding filled with a minced beef ragu with cooked diced smoked bacon layered between cooked egg pasta topped with cheese sauce and sprinkled with a mix of toasted breadcrumbs and diced mozzarella and cheddar cheese. I can't wait for the diarrhea tomorrow. Here it is. Here's the um, whatever you call it, packaging. If you're trying to look for it, here it is. Um, thoughts on this so far, it looks absolutely mega. To be honest with you, I'm absolutely starving. Um, I wouldn't really care too much as to what it tastes like because I'm just so ravenous. I've hardly like eaten really a lot. M more or less so, I'm more hungrier after working out. So um, yeah, I'm tucking to this uh, bad boy like I would do a normal, I just eat like a pig in general. So let's just give the outside a try. Straight away, Yorkshire pudding, batter, absolutely crispy, and I've got a taste of that um, white cheese sauce. Really, really tasty. Now, he's knife and fork like a normal human being. Fuck off! So here we've got some of the inside, uh, the beef, the pasta. Let's give it a try. Very, very cheesy. Um, it sort of tastes like, it does taste nice, but it sort of tastes like um, a little bit like a, a cheap lasagna for a minute. It doesn't taste very rich. Batter on the outside. Yorkshire pudding. I'm very happy with that so far. There's no fault in that. And that's probably gonna have the same taste throughout, but let's go into that filling again. So we've got pasta and we've got beef. Let's go in and let's just try it. 
So you've got the texture of the breadcrumbs there, really nice, but overall this lasagna is sort of a little bit disappointing. It's not very rich. It's not a great deal of beef in there. Um, yeah, a little bit disappointed to be honest with you. It's just lacking a little bit of flavour. It's not very rich at all, and it tastes like um, it sort of reminds me of like um, Smart Price as the lasagna in a bit of batter. So four quid. Um, Reasonable considering the last product I tried was six pounds, but because of like the taste and the actual flavor of it so far, I'm a little bit disappointed. I think um, I probably would give this a miss, and I'm advising you guys to give it a miss as well. As much as it sounds so great, um, yeah, I'm not really a fan so far. As you know, this is my tea, so it's not as if I can just stop eating it. Nothing's really changed my mind here, you know. It's um, a little bland, um, a little tasteless, and yeah, just tastes like a cheap lasagna. What I will say though is this twisted range, they're coming up with some really, really fantastic ideas. Um, some sort of ideas that I've never seen before. I know they've got like giant, giant pigs in blankets, and I wouldn't mind trying that one, but yeah, you know what? One product has tasted absolutely fantastic. Um, even Justino agreed with me on that one. But this lasagna, you know, Yorkshire pudding, just, it's not rich enough. You know, you want that tomato flavour. It's just very, very bland and, yeah, I just don't recommend it. I've still been healthy. I've still been on the health kick. I've been going to gym. Just haven't stopped. I um, absolutely love it. My mind is great. Um, hope you guys have been doing fantastic. Thank you for watching my content. You guys are absolutely phenomenal and fantastic. Um, yeah, life story. Uh, life's going really fast. Holiday's over. Back to work. Uh, Sunday through till Thursday. Like I probably mentioned, I, I don't really know. But yeah, I wanted to get out another one of these videos. A, I love doing these videos. I love YouTube. I love, um, you know, talking with you guys uh, back and forth as much as I can and providing a little bit of entertainment. But yeah, awesome. Um, so hopefully I'll be back on, I'm not sure. Friday. Friday's my next day off, so um, I'll conjure up a video for sure. And you know, in the comments box, let me know what we, what you want me to do. Um, I've got a good idea. I've got actually um, a new series I'm thinking about doing. Um, I want to know your thoughts in the comments, of course. Um, a big bowl, a massive bowl, and I'm going to eat a whole box of cereal. And you know, you got to choose the cereal for me. If I complete it, then obviously um, I will have another bowl of cereal but maybe a different type or we can mix things up if i don't finish the bowl of cereal then there's a forfeit so i'll let your mind and imagination uh think of something here oh. back to the review <laughs> right some of the batter base and uh yeah some of that tasteless uh mints you know i'm really disappointed i thought this would taste absolutely outstanding but i'm left quite disappointed you know and it's my tea so if I get peckish a bit later I'm probably gonna have to have something else healthy um, which I'm not too fond about to be honest with you it's um like I said the Yorkshire pudding itself the battered Yorkshire pudding really nice crispy like exactly what you want to do do exactly what you want with Yorkshire pudding but the inside it's just lacking something I don't know what it is it's just lacking something Crispy batter. I do hate it though. Uh, you get to Iceland, there's some real whack, wacky stuff there. And you just think it's going to be absolutely insane. And when it turns out to be horrible, it's probably the worst thing ever. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that has been the twisted lasagna filled Yorkshire pudding. Um, nothing but meh disappointment and yeah, probably something that I wouldn't recommend trying. Four pounds, it's a little bit tasteless, like I said, and I think that's the only one thing that really bothers me about it. Here's the pack tune. If you want to give it a go, I would suggest maybe adding some, I don't know, a load of salt or pepper, maybe some more cheese and a square of Heinz tomato sauce or something like that to make it taste a little bit better. But overall, it didn't really live up to the hype, but you cannot always win. This is why I do these three reviews, so simply you, you, you can save yourself some coin. So yeah, it's not really worth it. It's uh, get yourself a smart price lasagna and dunk some Yorkshire puddings inside it or something like that. Rating, if I could give this one a rating, um, the only good part about it was the actual Yorkshire pudding itself. So uh, four out of ten, don't buy it. And it's four pounds as well, four English Bitcoin. So yeah, 
Thanks a lot for watching this video. You guys have been amazing. I uh, hope you enjoy my content, and I will see you in the next review.